Okay. Well, hello there. Uh, this is my first time using my MacBook Air video thing here, so um, I've not used this before, so pretty cool. A uh, friend of mine, Bill, from the shop, he got this MacBook Air at a yard sale, and he traded me. He traded it to me, and it was, like, brand new, and it works really good, and I like it. I don't really know how to use it very well yet, but um, I liked it enough that I, I sold my other laptop at the shop, so... My other one, one of my other was I just brought two home from the shop. Speaking of the shop, this weekend, this past weekend, um, was the was that was it. We're, we're done. We're closed. Uh, we have the next eight days to empty the shop out and get everything uh, cleaned up. So for the new owners to start their whatever they're going to do in there. So uh, it's a very bittersweet. Um, it's very very sad uh, I, I mean we the 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 community has been very good to us the last four years the the the, the people have just really um, been shopping local so much and I mean we have a small shop there's it, it, it isn't that big comparatively and I mean we had we had an incredible weekend I mean it was, it was incredible there's there are there is only actually 14 vendors and 14 vendors in the <clears throat> in the shop and we did sixteen hundred dollars in smalls over the weekend which was huge which is huge for us that's it's a good weekend it's not a record or anything, but it's huge um but it's the last weekend so it's over and and that may have had a lot to do with it we had a lot of sales half off sales and everything um it was it was uh it was a it was pretty incredible weekend very busy lots of people from the community coming in and and uh showing their support for our new endeavors. Most of us are going over to a place called the Route 6 Country Shops, Route 6 Country Shops. That's in Mansfield, PA. And they, I'm sure, would very much appreciate you all going to their page and and uh, and hitting, hitting the like button and, and their Facebook page and letting them know that, uh, that uh, you know, you may stop by sometime if you're ever coming across the northern tier of Pennsylvania. So, uh, Anyway, uh, most of us are going there. There's a few of us are going to some other places. And uh, so anyway, there was a fellow in my shop last night who was looking to buy out my inventory. And he is one of my one of the subscribers here, watches the videos. And he's a, a local guy. And uh, I made him a great deal. And he's happy and I'm happy. And I won't have to hopefully move too much of my, my, my things out of there. Um, and I have, I have plenty more to have to worry about. What, but what's next? You know, what's next for me? What am, what am I gonna? He asked me. He said, "What am I? What's Mr. Dave gonna do now? What's Mr. Dave gonna do now?" I thought, "Well, what am I gonna do now?" You know, no. But I've been thinking about it a lot. I mean, you know, a lot of folks have been um, trying to talk me into opening another shop somewhere. But I, I'm really, I'm, I'm really just right now. I'm just. I'm kind of going through like the grieving process for my for the business. I, you know, it's um, you know, you go through different stages of grieving for a business, and right now I'm I'm still kind of I'm kind of angry at not not at the new owners because they did what was best for them, um, and I, and it's just business. So I'm kind of angry at myself for not doing more to keep the business, but at the same time the building needs a lot of work, and. Uh, the price of the building was a little a little stiff for um, the amount of money we were making there but it probably what would have in the long run been worth it but even more so though you know it, it it's gonna afford me some more freedom now I, when I when I took over the shop I did not intend to for it to be um, to use so much of my time I didn't realize how how intensive it was going to be time wise and uh, and everything so uh, eBay has always has always been my number my number one source of income for many years you know so uh, you know to I did very well don't get me wrong I mean I sold a lot of stuff at the shop I sold I, we did we did we did really well there and the numbers were getting better and better every year so um, uh, yeah and like I said a lot of that has to do with community support locally uh, I, I've never seen communities support a small antique shop locally the way that community in, in Mansfield and, and Wellsboro and, and other surrounding areas people came to those shops to uh, 
to support us and they were very they're all very they're very sad that we're that we're we're closing it's been 1987 we the store opened so it's been a, a fixture for a very long time however maybe it's best for the town that there be a change um, but for me I'm going to be able to take I'm gonna well, I'm gonna spend you know some time to get my booth at the route six shops um, up to par because right now I really haven't I haven't used the space like I should because there's so much going on and I need to I need to build some fixtures and things which I haven't gotten around to do so but I, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on that and then I really I'm gonna I'm going to I'm, I'm, I've been spent I've been what's the word I'm looking for? I've been listing a lot more on eBay uh, and as you know as an eBay seller you, you have to list and you really have to list every day so you know Justin this fellow that came in the store last night he you know was asking me what I was gonna do and I so I basically told him that and that's it you know I'm, I'm going to focus on on my eBay business and I'm gonna focus on building that up to where it really should be again you know I haven't really been able to spend the time that I should to build it so uh, many of you uh, you know the, of those who who watch here and who comment in the Facebook group uh, which which is I, I always forget the name of my own Facebook group you're welcome to join you're welcome to come in and, and uh, it's it's Dave's totally chill relaxed it's gonna all work out that's what it's called Facebook group that's all Dave's totally chill relaxed it's all gonna all work out Facebook group because you know what it is it's all gonna work out one way or another so uh, there's no need to sweat it but yeah so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna be focusing that on me focused on eBay I'm, I'm hoping that um, in time once I have the the route six shop set up the way I, the way I want it and can maintain it I'm hoping that I'll be able to uh, open booths in some other shops where I won't need to work other than to to bring product in there so you know that'd be nice I'm hoping maybe to get a spot yeah it's uh, Lewisburg Pennsylvania maybe down in the roller mills down there um, that you know if you're familiar with that area that's a huge shop it's way way bigger than what my little thing was up here and maybe some of the other shops uh, uh, you know locally if they'll have me you know uh, maybe I'll see about trying to get into one or one or one or two of those if there's if there's space available for me um I'm, I'm not intending on opening another shop I don't you know I, you know Bill says you know in a year you know maybe I'll feel differently and maybe I want to and maybe I will but I I, I don't think so <laughs> I, I really don't think so but I might um yeah so I'm gonna focus on eBay I'm gonna focus on on doing those other things and if any of you use uh, the list perfectly program feel free to leave your code well, I don't know if you can leave your code in the comments on YouTube, but if you go to the Facebook group you, and you want to leave a comment in there, you're welcome to put your um, your code in there for your for the discount. And if I decide to uh, if I decide to use it, you know, the first person that first person that comes in and and, uh, and posts it, that'll probably be the one that I use. So. I want to use List Perfectly to try to expand more. I mean, I have an, uh, an Etsy account. I have a, a Mercari account. And I have a Poshmark account, but I haven't even begun. I don't even look on there. Um, I just have it. But the other accounts, Mercari, I've sold a little bit on, and Etsy, I've sold a little bit on. Not, 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 not nothing special. Um, just played, just played around with it a little bit. So, but I would like to maybe expand into those areas and do that. Um, as far as uh, you know, I, I'm thinking maybe I should. Maybe I should probably. I'm hoping that I could, that that if I can do something like that and I can build up the income a little more, that maybe I can get my wife more interested um, in 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 helping to list or or to uh, something to to help out and. If we can do that, maybe next year, maybe in the spring, I'll think look into getting a shed. You know, like uh, some of the, some of the other guys have not for not for doing videos and that stuff, and more for getting the part of part of Gene's issue with the business is having. I use a lot of 
a lot of areas in the shop for uh, inventory storage. They're not in the shop, in the house. But they're like spare bedrooms, you know? So I use that and I use the basement and the garage for storage, not just of, well, of inventory of stuff that's listed and not listed. So if I can get all that stuff outside of the house and into into a storage shed um, and, and, and keep it that way, then uh, that may help her help her want to be more involved in that, which would be great, you know, and, and, and if she saw more sales on other things, I'm, I'm really hoping that that would be helpful for her to, to not be so concerned about, uh, about income. Cause you know, her, she's, she has a cleaning business and she does, she does really well, but she's hurting. <laughs> she comes home and things are hurting. So, you know, I really would like her to be more involved in in eBay because you know honestly I mean you, it takes a lot of our time you you know as a seller that it takes a lot of time and effort to have a successful eBay business but at the same time the the possibilities are 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 incredible for what you can do with it um, and and it, it's even though there's a lot of work there isn't that kind of hard work that that um, hard is and hard on your body kind of work you know unless you're going around lifting tubs of records and books then get smaller boxes uh, that's the way to do that but yeah so that's basically what's next for me I'm I'm, I'm I think I'm done running an antique shop I, I, I unless I were to go insane you know then perhaps I might consider doing it again it was don't like don't get me wrong though it was a lot of fun I met a lot of wonderful people. I, I have a lot of great memories from 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 doing it. I think it would just be better for myself though to to focus more on on that main that main income thing with uh, with eBay and not 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 look so much into. It, it, it's fine if it was less intensive time wise, you know. But it, it just takes a lot of time to run a shop like that. So. To actually be in a shop where you don't have to run it, that's a whole other thing. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. So, don't worry about me. I'm, I'm, uh, everything's going to work out good. If you have that code, please put it in the, the description either here, if you can here, or or uh, in the Facebook group. So, uh, I'd, I'd appreciate that. And, let's see. Um, yeah, that's about it. So, have a great day. And thanks for watching. And, uh Bear with. Have a great day. Bye-bye.